everyone, it's Alice and today I thought I would do a recommendation video for you and today it's gonna be all about books about sisters. I never really noticed this until a couple of years ago but I really like books about sisters that explores the relationships between them. I think it's a really interesting theme. So I have six books to show you that are either about sisters or they have sisters in them and I would obviously very much recommend all of them, otherwise I would not be making this video. First up, we have got The Strays by Emily Bitto. This is one of my favorite covers of all time. I think the design of this is beautiful. Either way, this book is historical fiction. It's set in Australia in the 1930s and we meet Lily, who is a young girl who becomes friends with these girls at school that are sisters and these sisters are the daughters of this like infamous avant-garde artist and Lily starts spending more and more time at their house and she finds herself in this like eccentric world that is filled with all of these odd and interesting people. This is a coming of age story and it's the kind of book that focuses very much on the characters and the relationships between them and we explore the relationship between this girl, Lily, and her friends that are these sisters and her like relationship with the other people in this house. And we also explore the relationship between the three sisters, which I think is really interesting. And I feel like this book captures that experience of going from a young girl to a young woman really well. Like it's really painful, but also beautiful in some ways and it's confusing and I just really loved it. I also love the setting of this. It's set in Melbourne and you get a really good sense of like the historical setting and this like eccentric art world. One of my favorite things about this book is the house that most of the story takes place in. It's the house of the infamous artist, like where these three sisters live. That house is like almost like its own character in this book. It's so atmospheric and I can still, even though it's been like three years since I read this, I can still vividly remember what I imagined that house to look like. It's a really great setting and it's just a really good book. And if you like stories about friendship and sisterhood and coming of age stories, this is the perfect read. Secondly, we have got a classic with a very appropriate title for this video and it is They Were Sisters by Dorothy Whipple. I'm a huge fan of this author, this is my favorite book by her, and this is set in England, mostly in the years between the First and the Second World War, and we meet three sisters who end up living very different lives because of the men that they marry. One sister is really lucky, she finds a great companion in her marriage. One marries someone that she finds really boring and she starts turning elsewhere for entertainment. And the third sister marries a man who is horrible and he turns this high-spirited young girl into a deeply unhappy woman. This is again the type of book that very much focuses on the characters and I just love this book. I loved getting to know the sisters. We meet them as quite young girls and we follow them for several decades and I thought it was really interesting to see how their relationships changed and how the women themselves change and I just think that Whipple writes characters so incredibly well. One of the things that I really liked about this book that I haven't really found in Whipple's other books is that it's kind of dark in some ways, both when it comes to things that happen and the characters. And for a classic novel, it explores some things quite like brutally that I thought was very interesting. It is kind of a domestic book in a lot of ways and it's very much about ordinary life and ordinary people but I loved this so much. It is on the slower side and if you're the kind of reader that really cares about plot there is stuff going on in here but it's kind of like a slow burn and it's much more about the characters. Then we have got one of my favorite graphic novels and it is The 100 Nights of Hero by Isabel Greenberg. This is set in this medieval magical world where a really horrible man makes a wager with his friend and he sort of challenges his friend to seduce his wife and if he's able to do that he can get his castle and his wife and he does this to prove that his wife is above such a thing. 
Now the friend thinks that this is going to be really easy, but what none of them know is that the wife is actually in love with her maid and they come up with this plan to distract the friend and they do this by telling him story after story, night after night. This is amazing and the sister aspect of this book comes in the stories that the maid tells and the book is all about women, a lot of them are sisters and it's about magic and storytelling and it's just beautiful and all of the stories tie together in the end really wonderfully as well. I also love the art style in this book and I love the use of color and it is kind of a weird book, like I remember it took me a while to like really understand what was going on, but once I did, I loved it and I just think this is such a treat of a book. Next, we have got a middle grade book and it is A Pinch of Magic by Michelle Harrison. This is set on the island of Crowstone where we meet three sisters who live with their grandmother and they have never been off the island and in the beginning of the book they learn that they are cursed, like their whole family is cursed and they're not able to leave the island without dying. Now, their grandmother hands them these magical objects that have been passed down for generations and the middle sister, who is very adventurous, she is very keen to get off the island and she thinks that she can use these magical objects to break the curse. So she sets off to try and figure out a way to break it. This is like very light fantasy, like it has some magical elements to it. And even though this is, I guess, geared towards younger readers, I really enjoyed this. It was light and sweet and enjoyable. And I really like the setting of this and it has a lot of mythology and folklore aspects to it that I really enjoyed. And it's just perfect if you want something light, sweet and magical. Second to last, we have got a book that I really should reread because I read this in 2014 and I keep thinking that 2014 wasn't that long ago but it's actually been like seven years and I do know that my reading tastes have changed a little bit but I have very good memories of reading this book and I do think I would still like it and it is The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenity. The story in here is about the five Lisbon sisters, but it's told from an outside perspective. So it's told from the perspective of these neighborhood boys that were obsessed with these girls. It's set in Michigan in the 1970s and these sisters and their parents live kind of like isolated lives, like in their community. And then something happens which makes them even more isolated. This is kind of a weird one and I feel like it's the kind of book that you're either going to love or just like absolutely hate. I remember really enjoying it though. I remember loving the writing. It has like this dreamlike quality to it and I just thought these sisters were so interesting. They're kind of like shrouded in mystery throughout most of the book. And I do remember we get to know these like neighborhood boys a little bit, but I don't remember anything about them. All I remember is the sisters and how fascinated I was by them and I wanted to know more, which is why I kept reading. I really do need to reread this though because I can't remember a lot of what happens in here. Lastly, we have got Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman and I know this is a very well-loved book so I'm sure a lot of you have read it, but this actually follows or at least it mentions several generations of sisters, which is really cool. We follow the Owens family in here and we mainly focus on two sisters who are kind of like younger and they are kind of like outsiders in town because everyone in town believes that their family are witches and they're blamed for every bad thing that happens in town and the book is sort of about them growing up and wanting to get out of their hometown. This is filled with atmosphere and it's a really charming book and it gives me that like 90s vibe which makes me feel really nostalgic. I love how this book is all about all of these different women and several generations of women. We get to know like these sisters eccentric aunts in here which I loved and there is magic in this book but it's mostly like in the background. It's much more about these characters and their lives and I just really enjoy this. It gives me like Gilmore Girls and Charmed vibes if you ever watched those kinds of shows and I do think that the nostalgia of this book 
is kind of what makes me like it so much. Okay, everyone, those were all of the books that I had to show you today. And I would love to know if you've read any of these or if you have a favorite book that has sisters in it, I would love to hear about it. As usual, links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description if you're interested and I will see you soon. Bye.